Well, 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 karma sure is a bitch. <laughs> Michael Avenatti. Michael Avenatti going down on 36 crimes, 36 counts, felony counts in federal court, facing 333 years in prison for his crimes. What are those crimes? Wire fraud? I'll tell you, boy, this is like, this is just a day of crime, right? All crimes going down, man. So let's jump right into the shit, right? So, so uh, we'll watch the, the good law enforcement people tell us what's going on. But uh, wire fraud, stealing his client's settlement money. Oh, damn. So you go to a lawyer, Michael Avenatti, and, um, and uh, he fights your case. And you win $4 million. And he takes that $4 million and puts it in his own pocket. Tax fraud. He hadn't he hadn't filed taxes for like four years. No, no, no actually more, like eight years. Uh, bank fraud, which they were using phony tax tax documents. He hadn't claimed any taxes. He hadn't filed tax, and then they were they were taking out bank loans based on his fake tax returns and bankruptcy fraud. So he's going down. He's going down. Right? It's karma, man. It's karma. Man. So let's check this shit out. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nick Hanna. I'm the United States Attorney here in Los Angeles. Good morning, Nick. I'm joined here by Acting Special Agent in Charge of the Internal Revenue Services Criminal Investigative Division, Ryan Corner, uh, in Los Angeles. We are announcing today that a federal grand jury in Santa Ana, California, has returned a 36 count indictment against attorney Michael Avenatti. This indictment is now the operative charging document in the case. The indictment substantially broadens the criminal conduct that was charged in the criminal complaint that was unsealed on March 25th. The charges now being alleged against Mr. Avenatti can be broken down into four general categories. First, wire fraud related to the theft of millions of dollars from five clients, including a paraplegic man who agreed to a multi-million dollar settlement, but has received only a fraction of the money despite the fact that Mr. Avenatti received the full settlement amount over four years ago. Second, tax fraud, including failing to file income tax returns for himself and his law firm. As you will hear in a few minutes from Special Agent in Charge Corner, Mr. Avenatti also allegedly took steps designed to obstruct an IRS collection, hide his coffee company's income, and prevent the IRS from collecting on a series of tax liens and levies filed since 2017. Third, bank fraud, including the allegations in the original complaint that Mr. Avenatti received three loans from a Mississippi bank based on applications supported by phony tax returns. And fourth, bankruptcy fraud. The indictment alleges that after his law firm was forced into bankruptcy over two years ago, Mr. Avenatti has repeatedly lied to the bankruptcy court, to the bankruptcy trustee, and to his creditors by failing to report income his bankrupt firm was receiving. These four areas of criminal conduct alleged in the indictment are all linked to one another because money generated from one set of crimes was used to further other crimes, typically in the form of payments designed to string along victims so as to pre prevent Mr. Avenatti's financial house of cards from collapsing. I will now discuss the various areas of criminal conduct in a bit more detail. So that's really, that's the sum total of it, right? So Michael Avenatti is down for the count. He's down for the count, man. So Stormy Daniels, Stormy Daniels fame, my, Michael Avenatti. That's how we know him. But the, this, um, the, this group of uh, in, investigators go on to say that uh, this investigation has been going on for like two and a half years. They were on to this guy, right? And he's a... Mr. Flamboyant, Mr. Mr. In Your Face, running around like, like he's a, you know, he's a big shot, right? So who took him down? I don't know. I mean, you know, they took him down, man. Michael Avenatti, bye bye, bye bye. He's gonna be, they're gonna be doing this, rubbing his, rubbing his bald head in jail, man. Three hundred and thirty-three years, 
36 felony crimes. He'll he'll take a plea. He'll take a plea and uh he'll do he'll do 20 years. 20 years. Ah, that lifestyle. They took away his jet. They took away his properties, his condo. They'll pay back all his debtors. They'll give give the money to the paraplegic that he stole four million dollars from. All right. Bye bye, Michael. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs>